Hey guys. Welcome to the brand new series of the channel The Know How. Let's explore some tips and tricks on photography from this set. Are you ready? Okay. Then let's get started. Remember. This episode is not sponsored by anybody. So I'm not promoting any product over here and please enjoy the show. Hi, I'm HG from Ambatea Studios and coming to you from text to speech dubbing. And. As you have seen before, we are going to talk about how to capture a solar eclipse with the ND filter. Oh. This is O and if you haven't checked our stop motion animation series the O check it out. Of course the Mr. O here is the MC in that series and click the suggested link above. As you know the solar eclipse happens when the moon travels between the sun and the earth blah 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 and there are total, penumbrial, partial, and hybrid. Super or some name like that eclipses in the world. Of course there's only one place in the solar system where we can see total solar eclipses happen, I mean, what a coincidence. So watching these phenomena from naked eye can cause you serious troubles. So, always use recommended eclipse glasses or make a pinhole projector. Then, back to the topic, to photograph it, you'll need a pro camera, DSLR or mirrorless. I recommend mirrorless cause it has an electronic viewfinder unlike DSLRs. A tripod. A solar or AND filter If you are recording the eclipse, I suggest you to use a star tracker or a telescopic mount because you'll have to tilt the tripod all the time as the sun is always moving across the sky. And if you only use a tripod, it will be like this. Speaking of cameras, the reason I suggested the mirror less is it doesn't have an optical viewfinder. So, it is safe to look above and when you're using the filter. The light from the eyepiece can make flares in the picture. Even so just don't worry DSLR folks. Use the live view display to watch it and make sure you cover the eyepiece so the flares won't appear in your shot. And now to the main part. The, filters. You can use a solar filter or a ND filter to get a nice picture and both have pros and cons. If you use a solar filter, you can easily capture a decent shot with the orange color of the sun. Of course this'll protect your camera from UV and IR rays and saves you money only if you have a camera with a telephoto lens or just a lens and only if you choose a normal quality filter. The cons are you can't adjust the brightness of the sun or the color and as far as I've heard, capturing Bailey's beads could be difficult. On the other hand, the ND filters offer you the control over the brightness and the color management of the scene unlike the solar filters. And it is possible to capture Bailey's beads without any issue and as long as you don't use a telescope or a highest quality filter. It'll save you some bucks and you can use it afterwards for long exposure photography. The downsides of these guys are the heating and the color cast. They can't block that much UV and IR rays like solar filters and because of that you can't leave the camera pointed to the sun always and there's the color cast. These filters have a little color cast over the frame and lower the quality the more you get the color cast. Okay. Now that we've talked about the pros and cons, let's see how to use ND guys. First you need a ND filter which is higher than 8 stops. Which means you have to get a filter which s above ND 400. I think 10 stop filter or higher will give the best results. And if you only got some 8 stop or lower than that, don't rush over to the photographic equipment shop since this is a pandemic era, try stacking them over each other. Since they can connect through the threads. Ask for me I'm using a variable ND filter by Zome and it is ND 2 to 401. When it comes to VNDs, most people say that they are useless since they give a X pattern when it hit the max. But this guy is great since this one has a limit and it stops the rotation when it hits the max and importantly there's no X pattern. The only thing you can see is a slight vignette on the corners and when you use manual focus, it won't appear in the shot. This costs you about $35 and so far so good. There's only a slight warm color cast in the scene and it gives you some noise in lower ND values. But this alone can't give the maximum results. So I use the built-in ND filter in my camera with it to get the best out of it. And my camera is Panasonic Lumix DMC FZ2500 if you like it, check it out. Now to the camera settings. Lover the ISO to the min. Set the aperture to the max, f11 of higher, and set the shutter speed till you see the desired brightness over the scene and specially use manual focus and adjust it after the filter is applied to the lens. Alright then. I hope you enjoyed the video and please subscribe the channel as we are gonna give you the partial solar eclipse or the annular to the Indian and Mongolian region up close in 21st of June like the, last time in 26th of December. So, good luck.